MMA fans, I am here with pro wrestling fans. You may even recognize this face right here, right in the flesh. I can't believe it. Making his, is this your debut for? It is not. This is my fourth fight. For New York Fight Exchange. You cut me off. My <laughs> second fight for New York Fight Exchange. Perfect. We're here for New York Fight Exchange. Three's weigh-ins here in Jamaica, Queens at the Amazura. And how does it feel to be in this fight? Uh, I feel, uh, it, it feels great. You know, uh, I'm happy to be doing this. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I escaped the uh, fake stuff for the real stuff. And uh, it's an awesome feeling. How does it feel coming from the pro wrestling world into MMA where it's obviously completely different, far less emphasis on character and entertainment per, per se, and more focus on killing your opponent? <laughs> well, you know, like I said before, you know, the fake stuff, you know, it's still hard, it hurts and everything, but uh, this is a different level of competition and uh, it really gives, you know, you know if you can do it or not. It, Basically, it's it's a whole different world, you know. I love it. I love it. Call me crazy, but I love it. I see you train at Henzo Gracie, Brooklyn. Do you have any particular strategy, maybe pertaining to that background, in your fight for tomorrow night? Um, well, everybody knows that uh, Henzo Gracie Academies are uh, known for jiu-jitsu. Uh, me, I'm more of a stand-up guy, uh, but I have been working on a few things for my opponent, uh, Wendell Gerard. Um, you know, it's I have great coaches from uh, Hensel Gracie, Uf UFC's Rafael Natal, uh, Very nice. Andy Singh, Daisuke Yamaji, and uh, you know I've been trained by the best. I have the best teammates, Team Sweeney. There you go. I see you, you clocked in at 205. It's light heavyweight. Do you have any intentions of maybe bulking up to heavyweight? Maybe going down to 185? Well, uh, actually, my very first fight, my first MMA fight, I fought at heavyweight. I was at, uh, I believe, 230, I believe. And uh, I came down to light heavyweight, 205. Maybe one day a 185 run. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Do you have any material? Or have you seen any material on your, your, your opponent tomorrow night? Is there anything you're going to be watching out for? Um, actually, I don't know too much about him. All I know is that he's a jiu-jitsu guy. Uh, it's his first fight, so, you know, welcome aboard, Wendell. Uh, you know, I, I just go in there, try to stand with them, and if all else fails, we'll see what happens. Having the experience in this bout, do you think that's going to be a detriment to him, that his, he's going to be making his debut? No, not at all. Not at all. You know, sometimes people look at the guys just stepping in for their first fight. You know, they uh, underestimate them. Me, I don't underestimate anybody because, you know, it could just be his night. You know, tomorrow we'll see who the better fighter is that night. Absolutely. Last but not least, do you have any intentions of going pro anytime soon? Uh, I get asked that question a lot at my age, and uh, you know, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind getting paid to get punched in the face. Respectable career. I, I, I can agree with this. Not me personally. I don't want to get punched in this lovely little face, but this man loves it. And in any case, stay tuned. Mr. Sweeney, I'm excited to see you. As someone who saw you in the pro, the, the pro wrestling world, it was actually a bit of a shock to see you here. I did not know you fought. So this was pleasantly surprising. I was literally walking around. I was like, is that, what, is that who I really think it is? And in lo and behold, in the flesh, in the flesh <laughs> small world. Anything you want to say for the viewers? Uh, come on out, support MMA in New York, let's get it legalized, and uh, come on by tomorrow, Amazora Concert Hall, New York Fight Exchange, let's do this. Thanks for tuning in, guys.